Well, hey everyone, happy new moon in Aquarius. It is also the lunar, lunar new year, also known as the Chinese new year. So I've got my beautiful dragon organite out here. I just have to show you guys how pretty this is. Um, I made this for uh, the new year. I actually made several pieces. This is the only one I have left. Well, actually I do have a charging disc that will be listed probably in the next couple days. But um, yeah, some pretty little organite energy for us tonight. Also, I just want to apologize. I know I have not been posting very often. If you follow me on Instagram, I have been <laughs> kind of whining at how sick I've been. I've been like really sick for weeks. and um, But I really wanted to come on here and do a new moon reading for you guys. So um, new moons are such a good time to take stock of what you are wanting to manifest and what you are wanting to create. And so um, I want you to just take a moment before we get started, because I, I will be getting information for everyone here, um, everyone who watches the, the videos, but really kind of dial into what it is that you are really wanting to manifest in your life. Um, you know, what it is that you are wanting to grow, what you would like to see um, come to some sort of fruition in the next lunar cycle. So. So sometimes I say, what do you want to manifest? And people are like thinking five years down the road, which is awesome. Please do that. But also let's just work one lunar cycle at a time. Um, because I think sometimes when we minimize things, um, we can, uh, it, it's like more attainable, you know, it's making smart goals, right? <laughs> um, so think about something that you would like to work on over the next lunar cycle, the next 28 days we have a full moon in the middle of that and during the full moon I'll do another reading and we can talk about um, you know what you might need to be letting go of or you know how things are going and we can kind of start bringing in that celebration energy but I will say from the new moon to the the, the full moon we're dealing with a growth right so the moon is dark tonight and it will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger it will be growing so we want to be really doing our manifesting rituals we want to be visualizing we want to be really taking action steps and what's really cool about right now all the planets are direct so there's not really anything um atmospheric if you will or astrologically that will be pulling us back we do have, have uranus in a weird position that is kind of a wild card that anything could happen and I would just capitalize on that. I know a lot of astrologists are kind of getting into the fear mode and they're like, oh no, anything could happen. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> if we're manifesting correctly here, anything could happen. It could be amazing. That could be like winning the lottery or meeting the love of your life or like finally finding the diet plan that you need, whatever it is, right, that you're trying to manifest. And so, um, yeah, I, I would just urge you to capitalize on this energy tonight. Now, the other thing is I know I'm posting this like, kind of later in the day again I have felt really kind of crappy all day um and so just know that the new moon energy it lasts for about two or three days after the new moon so if you're getting this this video after the fact it's okay you can still start planting those seeds and working and remember we have from now into you know the next two weeks until the moon is full where I'll come back on and we'll talk a little bit more about what you're manifesting and then um again you know that new moon so talk think about small attainable steps okay i just i want you to just have this kind of all in in your mind as i'm giving us information for tonight so i'm going to i'm going to um draw three cards just for the collective if you saw my last full moon reading i'm going to kind of do the same thing um i'm going to do a, a few cards just for the collective just what do we need to know about manifesting on this new moon and then i'll go through everyone's sign if you know your sun moon and rising you can check all of those signs you can also cross watch which means all the people in your life if you know their signs you can see their messages as well so and i just want to remind you if you want a reading if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading uh, my etsy store link is in the description box and if you are loving all of my organite um and i also sell tea and botanicals and all sorts of fun things in my etsy store so give it a give it a go Give it a check off or however you say check it off your box <laughs> i feel like i'm not saying that right um give it a check check it out okay stop talking about that crystal let's move on thank you so much angels guides guardians archangels ancestors and the power of source energy god and goddess thank you so much for giving me clarity 
and giving us all guidance. So my, my main thing here is what do we need to know specifically about manifesting for this new moon? What are the, the key guidance points here for that? <clears throat> what do we need to know about what it is that we are trying to co-create? Okay, first card, this is really great. This is the Ten of Air. And um, this is talking about the, you know, you've, you've gone through a lot. There's a lot that you've been through. And you might be having a little bit of a faith crisis where you're like, I don't know how to manifest. I don't know how to do this. Nothing ever works out for me. But this card is really telling us that the, the worst is over and that it's okay to believe again. And um, I actually kind of feel like from these other two cards too, that you're really up against a lot of your very own ego. Um, that, you know, you might have a part of you that is feeling very doubtful, that is feeling like, um, you know, maybe you don't have your stuff together enough or you've got kind of like an inner um, doubter or like inner um, critic that is, keeping you from really going after your dreams and of course like i understand this the human experience is that sometimes things just don't work out and we take it personally instead of looking at like okay this didn't work out you know is there a higher reason was i saved <laughs> from something that i really thought i wanted can you look back and see that an unanswered prayer or a, a manifestation that never came to fruition it was actually a blessing and that you can be thankful that it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Remember that, you know, not only are we co-creators in our lives, and I, I really like the word co-creator because I think when people are like, we are the creators of our reality, yes. And we also have a very loving, um, compassionate source who, who wants to protect us and keep us safe. And sometimes we don't know what's best for us. And so that's why we are co-creators. And so if something hasn't worked out, this is really the time to flex that faith muscle, to remember that you are being protected and guided and cherished. Like you are so loved. You have no idea how loved you are. So when things don't work out, it really is for the best. And sometimes things don't work out because of timing. It's not like maybe it doesn't work out indefinitely. But if, but maybe it's just not now, you know, and so honor the desires in your hearts. I talk about this all the time. When you have something that you want to experience in life, don't judge it. Don't say like, oh, it's shallow of me to want a lot of money, or it's dumb that I want this car, or it's weak for me to want to meet my soulmate or whatever, right? Don't judge it because that's what these two cards are talking about. You have a little bit of a slave driver inside of you. And the uh, inauthenticity card is your is your ego um, kind of talking you out of going for bigger and better and also using your memory, you know, when things haven't worked out against you. So it can be like, see how things just don't work out for you. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of fear-based um, thoughts going on and some strict perfectionistic um well if it's not if it didn't happen my way then it wasn't good enough like i would just say that when it comes to manifesting for this new moon focus on softening your heart towards <clears throat> your past and realize that if things didn't work out the way that you wanted them to or in your time that it's because you're loved and it's because you're protected and sometimes we just can't see why things didn't you know when you're like i'm asking for good things um but maybe there's just something better for you and so um another thing to kind of keep in mind for for this manifestation that you are wanting to experience is to continue saying this phrase when you're when you're speaking it out loud this or something better like i want this or something better and continue giving that over to source continue giving it over to your higher power to um to percolate to create and to move you know time and space in order for you to get the best outcome <clears throat> So I think that that, so a couple things here. The worst is over. This is the end of a difficulty. This is a turning point for you. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry. 
It's time for you to see the illusion of lack, see through the illusion of lack. It's time for you to rise above your own inner critic and your own ego. Rise above it. Choose faith over fear right now. Choose to not be deceived by doubt and disbelief and unfaithfulness. Choose your faith. Just choose in. Like, what have you got to lose, right? So that that is the main message here. I feel like the angels are gathering around all of us right now because it's been so hard. And a lot of us have been through a lot of hardship. And they're like, look, guys, we know. We know you've been through the storm. But we really need you to start looking for rainbows right now. We really need you to start to <clears throat> remember some truths about the way that things work and remember how powerful you are and remember our relationship you know the relationship you have with your angels or your higher power remember that and bring that to the forefront now is the time to come out of hiding of of doubt of disbelief um because things are are going to get better all right so let's go through the signs and i'm just going to pull one card and get a special message for each sign so i'll start with aries <coughs> And again, I'm sorry. I'm, you know what? I'm manifesting right now. <laughs> Let me grab some water. I am manifesting some very good health. I am manifesting wellness. <clears throat> All right, Aries. Aries, what do you need to know right now about your manifesting on this new moon? <clears throat> You've got the moon card. There's some hidden things. There's some things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Trust. Trust and have faith because the angels are working double time for you, Aries. Um, use your intuition and trust and have faith because you may not be seeing it now, but it's kind of like if you, if you plant a seed, it will start to grow underneath the ground, like all these roots, but you can't see any of that. That all goes on underground. So just know that there's a lot of stuff going on under the ground that you can't see, but keep watering, <laughs> keep your faith, keep those affirmations going, um, keep meditating, keep visualizing, keep feeling it, keep working your magic, keep trusting, um, because you will see results in the next lunar cycle. <clears throat> Taurus, what do you need to know about your, manifest your manifesting? Well, this is telling me that you're a bundle of nerves right now, and you might even be having some sleepless nights, some anxiety, you're expecting the worst, you're catastrophizing, you're like, this is, you know, this is, you're thinking of all the, the worst things that could possibly happen. Now, look, that's your imagination running wild, and this is a good opportunity for you to start to become more disciplined in your thoughts. Your mind can be disciplined, and the way we do that is to go, if we have the ability to imagine the worst, we also have the ability to imagine the best, but it's almost like you have a, a, a horse that's out of control and you just need to lead it down the right path. It's going down this scary path and you just need to take the reins and say, look, whoa, <clears throat> if we can, if we have the ability to expect the worst, we also equally have the ability to expect the best. 90% of the things you worry about do not even come to pass. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your mind power. It's a waste of that m amazing imagination that can conjure up images and feelings for your good. So this is about really it's, don't catastrophize anymore. You know, that first initial message of choosing faith over fear is really big for you right now. Um, you know, get, get back into your happy thoughts, I guess. And the, the more you can train your mind to go down the path of um, expecting the best and visualizing the best and, and feeling the best, the, the better your manifestation is going to appear. <clears throat> Gemini. You've got the balance card. Um, it's all about um, seeking some harmony here. You've probably been a little bit extreme in some way. So I want you to think about where have I been really over the top? Where have I been really extreme? Um, have I been really negative? Have I been like maybe too positive? I know that's really weird to say, but there is something called spiritual bypassing where we're just like, everything's fine, everything's fine. And you're literally sitting in a room full of fire, right? So it, it, whatever way you've been, <clears throat> it's time for you to just kind of go, all right, how can I seek some harmony and some balance here? This can also be about compromising. You know, there might be someone that you collaborate with or this, um, what you're manifesting requires a partner or somebody else involved. Um, 
So obviously, if you're looking for a partner, this is a really good card to have because it might mean that you are are uh, your relationship gets better or or you meet someone. Um, if this is business related, if this is however, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to start looking for resources in the people around you. You know, look at your circle of interest and be like, who can I ask for help? Who can I delegate to? Um, and it really, and it is also about self-control because again, this card usually comes up when people have been a little bit extreme one way or the other. So, and we all do it. Like I'm a Libra. I, I can go way extreme <laughs> in whatever, you know, you might be extremely scared right now, or you might be extremely negative, or you might be focused on something a little bit too much and you need to take a step away from it to gain some perspective. So the balance card is just how can I become more balanced and how can I, um, delegate and ask other people to be involved. And if you do have other people involved in your manifestation, things only get better and relationships continue to heal and um, conflicts resolve there. <clears throat> Cancer. My Cancers, what do you need to know about what you are manifesting? We've got the Four of Water. You, there's a lot of self-doubt here. What you need to be working on is believing in yourself, believing that you are worth it. There's a lot of worthiness issue here. There's a lot of like deservability. You are afraid to reach for the stars and you are like totally just fine to eat breadcrumbs. You're like, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is, I, I you know, you're, you're probably saying the word fine a lot. Um, a lot of self-doubt um, and you're, you're not seeing an opportunity. So here's the thing. You might have an opportunity in front of you that you're not going to go after because you don't feel like you are a match to it. And I want to tell you that whatever good things happen in front of you are happening because you are a vibrational match to it. I'm t your angels are so soft. Like, I feel like I want to hug you. So if you're a cancer and you are really dealing with some low confidence, self-doubt, you're <clears throat> fine eating the breadcrumbs, look... <laughs> Heaven has an entire banquet table of your favorite food and you're over in the corner eating a cracker. Like there's so much more for you. So she's got her head in her hands. You're not seeing something right in front of you that could be really lucrative and really amazing and, and really like blow your mind, dream come true type of thing because you are kind of just dealing with um, self-doubt. So you got to pump yourself up, my cancer. Look at yourself in the mirror. Approve of yourself, okay? That's the first thing I'm hearing here. You've got to approve of yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. I approve of you. That's what your line is. That's your affirmation. I approve of you. You are worthy of what you want and then some, okay? Like, it is, it is time for you to come to the banquet table, my dear, and stop eating crackers in the corner, because there's way more for you than what you are even expecting for yourself. So expect more, know that you deserve more, work on your deservability, and I think that the universe will blow your mind. <clears throat> All right, Leo, what do you need to know this fabulous new moon? Leo, you've got the ton of fire. You're burning the candle on both ends here. Um, this, this usually comes up when you are just overwhelmed. You are heading towards a burnout. So um, you're taking on a lot of responsibility. There's a lot going on and you do need help from others. So don't oh, I'm not tell you what Leo's every Leo I know <laughs> and the Leo's I know are probably watching this. So you can laugh along with me. It's hard to ask for help because you are so good at doing everything. <laughs> People rely on you to, to get things done, right? But it's okay for you to put some other people in charge of some things. It's also okay for you to prioritize. Really sit down and be like, what is the most important thing that I need to be doing right now? And just focus on that. Put some things on the back burner. Take care of your health. The ten of fire sometimes comes up if you are overwhelmed and heading towards burnout. This can affect your immune system. And trust me, you do not want to do what Crystal did and get sick for weeks on end. So um, <clears throat> definitely just um, relax. You need to step away. You need to um, rest I know that's really hard to say. When the Ten of Fire comes up, it's usually because you have a lot of fires you're trying to put put out. There's a lot on your plate, and you're like, there is not anything that I that I can put on the back burner right now, but there is. And if there's not, then there might be people that can help you. And if and at the very least, you need to be really working on making sure you're resting, you're taking naps during the day. Yes, I just gave you permission, and that you are sleeping really well at night. If you are having sleep issues, you and Taurus both. 
Um, if you're kind of up because you're overstimulated at night, drink some tea. Go get my simple sleep tea from my store. That will put you out. It is med medicine. And get yourself a calming ritual. It is really important that you be focused on um, regulating your nervous system, putting yourself in environments that are calming and um, conducive to peace um, during this time, okay? Here's the thing. When it comes to manifesting, when you have too much on your plate, nothing manifests. When you are burning the candle on both ends, nothing manifests. And it's hard because you're like, no, if I do all this stuff, if I do all this stuff, if I do all this stuff, then I'll get all the stuff. Has that ever worked out for you? Or do you just end up crashing and burning and nothing really works out the way you want it to? So time to kind of step back, prioritize, work one thing at a time if you can, and just know that the more relaxed you are, the more chilled out you are, the more supported you feel by the people around you, the better your manifestation is going to be. <clears throat> Virgo, <clears throat> what do you need to know about your manifestation on this new moon? Setting new goals, new tasks. We've got the seven of fire. You're feeling a little defensive. Um, there might be something that you're wanting. Like when it comes to your manifestation, you're like, you want this, but you feel like you're going to have to explain yourself. <laughs> Let me tell you, take a page book from Queen Elizabeth, one of my one of my idols. I love Queen, the late Queen Elizabeth II. Never complain, never explain. That can go a long way. You don't owe anybody an explanation about what you want, where you're going, what you're doing. You don't. You don't owe anyone any explanation. Nobody needs to have full access to you. <clears throat> so it's okay to have some boundaries. This is you standing up for yourself. It's also about overcoming some obstacles. So um, you might have some blocks. Um, I'm going to say that these might be blocks in your chakras. These might be some energetic blocks. And those blocks might be associated with the fear of judgment and criticism from other people. So it's like, I really want to be this person. Or I really want to do this thing, but I'm really afraid of what people, what they are going to say or what they are going to think. And it's easy for me to be like, screw them. You know, you're, you're going to be fine. But you really do need to kind of work through um, what is making you slow down because of other people's judgment and criticisms. And so, um, yeah, it's easy for me to be like, be like Queen Elizabeth, never complain, never explain. Well, if you have some major energetic blocks that are really, you know, that you need to work through, work through them. You know, maybe you need to do a little bit of, um, you know, energy work around, you know, going back in your past and, and maybe looking for times that you were really shut down by other people's criticism and judgment and know that when you start working through that, and you forgive them, and you forgive yourself. Um, you know, you can do that with a qualified healer. I'm always available for those kinds of readings. Um, if you know somebody who does Reiki or um, trauma coaching or anything like that, it would be really good for you to kind of work through this. Because this is actually talking about a block to your manifesting, that you really are caring a little bit too much about what other people think about you. And um, it's up to you to think, you know, is this, is this something I can handle on my own that I can just release? Um, and let go of and forgive people and move on my merry way and never complain and never explain? Um, or is this something I need to do some deeper work with? I'll let that be up to you <clears throat> and to get that help in order to help your manifestation grow. Libra, what do you need to know about what you are manifesting right now? You've got the tower card. So yeah, um, <laughs> be aware that in the next two weeks, you are going to have a powerful insight. Now, some of you may have already have had a powerful insight. Um, I would say that the majority of you are already feel, um, feeling the tower energy where um, something very unexpected has happened. Um, something has kind of come out of the blue. Um, an unexpected event has occurred, but it all leads you to powerful insights. And it really does lead you. The, the tower puts you on the path. That's why the tower happens. Everyone's always afraid of this card. I love the card. And if you can see in my deck, <clears throat> nobody's falling out of a tower. She's sitting on top of the tower looking down. Because to me, it is about being... Uh, th that epiphany that happens when you have that tower moment, you are being lifted above the situation so you can see it from such a better perspective. And you can change your mind. Oh my gosh, Libra, guess what? Here's your permission. You can change your mind. You can do something different. 
because if you haven't already gotten that powerful insight or that that you know like oh my gosh i need to do this other thing you will don't be afraid of change don't be afraid to to do something that you that is unexpected um it the the tower moment that that moment of epiphany where you're like i need to do this other thing <clears throat> or this situation that happens that kind of flips the rug out from underneath you it is there to put you right on your path so whatever it is that you're trying to manifest i'm just going to say this and i say this with respect i'm a libra so i'm saying this to me as well i think you were facing the wrong direction in order for you to get what you wanted and i think one of the hardest things in the world is when you are asking for something and you think you're going the right direction and the universe is like child <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pick you up and turn you around. <clears throat> that is probably where you are right now. Have some faith, have a good spirit about it, and know that whatever's going on, it is happening for you to have that clarity and to be put solidly on such a better path. You're going to be so happy once you are set in the right direction. Everything will make sense. You'll get clarity. You won't be indecisive and cloudy. It'll be awesome. So hang in there. <clears throat> Scorpio, what do you need to know about your manifestation during this new moon? Scorpio, you're up there with Taurus, kind of catastrophizing, thinking the worst, being a little... With you, though, I'm picking up just a lot more anxiety. Scorpio's really anxious right now. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, it feels like anxiety. It feels like like, um, like I can't breathe, um, when I tap into this. So, um, <clears throat> I'm just asking what you need to do to calm down because this feels like, um, kind of a big deal. <clears throat> it has to do with regrets. You're regretting something. There's something, um, something that you're needing closure about. And it makes me feel like you're being really obsessive. Scorpios can be obsessive. <laughs> You're having obsessive thoughts where your mind is going round and round and round and round. So my remedy for that typically is journaling. Get out a notebook and handwrite what's going on in your head. and Because it needs an outlet. You need an outlet for this anxiety. Write it out. The other thing you can do is take your phone and record. Um, just record your thoughts, like even if they sound just completely crazy and obsessive, like, I, oh my gosh, and, and you're going to hear yourself that repetitiveness, but it needs an outlet. You need to put it out. And then the other thing is that you need to work it out of your body. So the anxiousness is happening because you've got a thought that's going round and round and round, some sort of loose end, some sort of closure, some sort of regret, something that is that is making life hard mentally for you. So I would journal it out, I would talk it out, and then I would get into your body. Because what's happening is that it's really uncomfortable, and you're like not in your body, you're not being present. So get in your body, dance, go for a walk, um, do some yoga, do some Tai Chi, do some Qigong. Do something that brings you into your body. And when you're in your body, Scorpio, I want you to look around and see that you're okay. Like, you are okay. I know that this thought is driving you crazy, but it's only a thought. And you're giving it way too much power. Ooh, I just felt like someone's going to shift when they hear that. You're giving your thoughts way too much power. You know, sometimes we talk about taking our power back from people. Very often, it's just like that... that that initial um, reading that I did at the very beginning, where your ego is going to start talking you out of things, we need to take our power back from our very own thoughts. So you need to write some things down. Maybe write down the thoughts that you're giving your power away to and burn them. Let them go. Let them burn. See those ashes. And I, I just feel like the intensity went down. So I think I'm giving the right message here. Get your angels involved. Start talking to your angels. Give them assignments. Hey, I need closure with this thing. Please go and help me with this. I need, I'm, I'm having this regret. I'm having this obsessive thought. Um, get your angels involved because they will help you. Angels are so good at helping us with our minds and our energies, okay? So that's really intense, Scorpio. I, I, this will pass. It is a mental storm. We all get them. Have you guys ever had a mental storm? 
man, they come through and they rage and you feel like your mind is a mess and then they're gone. So this will pass, Scorpio. All right, let's look. Uh, Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know about their manifesting on this new moon? Um, <clears throat> you've got the karma card here. So I'm just going to say, you know, that, that one of the best ways to, one of the ways to read this card is if you are in any sort of legal battle or you're worried about money or somebody owes you something, there's definitely a karmic um, justice happening here. Um, scales are being balanced. The the playing field is being leveled out. So you're going to get what you deserve. Everyone's going to get what they deserve. It'll probably happen very fast. I feel a little bit of a whiplash with this. So there's a karmic balancing, a legal balancing, a money balancing happening, cause and effect. Okay. <clears throat> with that being said, <clears throat> this is a little bit like what I think it was Gemini got the balance card. I can't remember. But you might also want to check yourself and see if you've been a little extreme in one way or another. You might be over the top in some way. Sagittarius being over the top about anything? No way. <laughs> Just kidding. My Sag friends that are watching, they might know what I'm talking about here. You might be predominantly focused on something and you're imbalanced. So if you've been predominantly focused on um, a worry or a pain or a trauma or money or your job or a relationship or your health, it's time to kind of pull back and just be like, okay, I need to, I need to look at something else. I need to focus on something else. I need to involve myself in something else. I need to do something else and really get yourself a little bit more balanced um, in that way. But I, I do feel like there is going to be some sort of justice that you see. It happens right in front of you is what I'm seeing. It's almost like you're like, it happens right in front of you and you're like, wow, <laughs> karma. So um, now how that relates to your manifestation, perhaps what you're wanting is kind of contingent on some balancing of karmic justice. Um, it's also contingent on you being more balanced. So again, if you need to walk away from something and focus on something else for a little while and again, prioritize what's the most important thing that I need to be focusing on, is it really this thing that I've been a little bit more extreme about? Um, just bring down your extremities a little bit and... Um, Kind of see if you can seek a little bit more harmony in your life. Harmony is your word. The more harmonious you can be with your environment, with the people around you, and in your thoughts, the easier it will be for your manifestation to appear. Capricorn. <clears throat> what do my Capricorns need to know about this new moon? Got a little self-doubt here, just like my Cancers, not believing in yourself. Um... This has to do with something that was said to you. You need to kind of go back through your memories and say, what what was said to me? Somebody said something to you that put you in a box. Oh, don't put baby in the corner, right? Somebody put you in a box. Somebody gave you a label or a name, and that is still floating around in your psyche. Maybe somebody, you know, maybe you had a teacher that said that you were really a slow learner. Or maybe you had a gym teacher that was like, you're not very athletic, um, and, and these things that people have said to you, you, you may not fully believe them anymore, but they are like around there. So if you've been trying to manifest something and you're hitting a wall, it's because somebody has given you a label and it is still around there in your psyche. And you got to take off those labels, remove the label, address it, you know, really think about what names were I called or what boxes were I put in, what, and, and they may have been meaning well, right? You may have had like a teacher or a parent that gave you a label because they thought it would help you, you know? Um, you know, you're such a smarty pants, you know, or something. And it just doesn't work. It, it, that label, a part of you bought into it and believes it. And, and now you're trying to do something that is outside the box of that label. And it's a, it's, it's like a, it's like friction, like it's like a wall. You're just, you're not getting past it. So look at the, look at the things that you've labeled yourself and, and the, the, the things that people have said about you in the past, the things that you've thought, you know, like sometimes people don't even say things and you just think that they think that about you. That is also part of that. Write those things down and be like, how true is this? And what one of these labels are in my way right now? So there's a little bit of sadness here. Also, uh, this might be for some of you. There's a little bit of sadness. Some of you are going through some sort of loss. There's some grieving here. And so you may not be in a manifestation um, mode. 
You might just be getting through something, and guess what? That is okay. You work through where you are. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, the, the new moon is in your sign. So you're going to be feeling this quite prominently. Um, and it's a really good time for you to really hit the ground running with your manifestation because of where the moon is. So let's see where you're at here. So many of you are pulling this nine of error. So really is about that first initial message that I gave. You know, it is your own thoughts. It is your own fear-based mentality. It is your own limitations. It's your own self-doubt that is in your way. And so just like what I have told the other signs that have gotten this, that, that merry-go-round mind, the anxiety, the nervousness, the obsessiveness, the guilt, the worry, the expecting the worst, the catastrophizing, the sleepless nights, none of that, none of that is productive. So if, if you're, if you, if you're someone that I've read this already and you're hearing it again because Aquarius is getting it, you've got to understand worrying does not solve your problem. You will not get to a solution through worrying about it. Think about like when you watch a movie. I know this is like a really weird thing, but like if you, when you're watching a movie and you see the main character go through a really hard time, None of their solutions happen, right? You just see them kind of wallowing. And then they hit this point where they're like, you know what? I'm going to make a change. And then you have a montage of like this really cool song. And it's a montage of them like working out, getting fit and meeting people. And they're, they're, they're like glowing up, right? They're, they're, they're getting better. And then the solution to their problem happens when they are bringing themselves out of the bad part. And so People who write movie scripts and people who write books know that this is a pattern. It's called the hero's journey. It's what we talk about here in the tarot. That when you are in this place, you are there to feel some feelings and to uncover some truths. But, and, and, and to start to develop strength of your mental faculties. <clears throat> but never does a solution come to you in the middle of the night when you are having a night like this. If you're wanting solutions, it is time to just get your mind into a better place. You, you've got to be listening to affirmations, listening to uplifting songs, taking care of yourself. Go, go through the montage. <laughs> Buy yourself a new outfit. Glow up, right? <clears throat> get your resume out there. Do, start taking action. Because thinking about it and going like in your mind, nothing ever happens. But the universe will follow action. So as soon as you start taking any sort of action at all, and you start making little tiny better decisions, it's like the solution starts to come. So do a release if you need to, but it, it really, Aquarius, get out of your mind. Now, this is a message for everyone. If you feel like you are too mental, because that was kind of that initial you know, message for everyone with that ego card or the, the inauthenticity card that came up, <clears throat> a, a, many of us are not enough in our hearts, right? You, you manifest from the heart. And so if you are thinking and thinking and overthinking and over obsessing, it's because you're not down in your heart. You're not loving your life. You're not loving yourself. You're not um, <clears throat> finding pleasure and joy in moments. That's when you're creative, right? We create when we are in a moment of joy and pleasure and happiness. Not when we're all up in our heads and worry. So come down to the heart is a big message for everyone here. Finally, we have Pisces, <clears throat> my patient Pisces. We've got the strength card. I, I think you're going to be just fine, Pisces. This is talking about you've been through it. You've strengthened yourself. You have a deep inner strength. Um, now is the time to be taking some courageous um, action towards what you're wanting. Trust your power. You're very powerful right now, Pisces. And so what you're wanting is... Trust what you're wanting, trust your desires, and trust that you are being led and that you are strong enough to go after what you're wanting. Here's a picture of a girl who's made friends with a lion. <clears throat> that lion used to be really scary. You made friends with your fear. You know, you chose faith over fear. Go hang out with some Aquariuses and some Virgos and some Tauruses and some Scorpios. <laughs> Because I, I feel like you, you've kind of done this, you know, you're like, all right, I'm, 
I'm ready to see myself as a strong manifester. So now you're pulling out all the stops. You're flexing that faith muscle. You're, you're, you're doing all the things that, you know, you're, you know, you need to do in order to manifest what you want to do. So if somebody needed to hear it, you are strong enough. Be courageous. Be brave. Go out there. Say the thing. Wear the clothes. Go after the job. Talk to the person. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're not going to regret it. All right. One final card for everyone. If you made it to this part of the video, you've listened to all the signs. And you deserve a little something, something. I know we've we've talked a lot. I mean, what have I, I mean, 40 minutes now? Just one more piece of guidance here for everyone before we leave. <clears throat> the Ten of Water is focus on emotional fulfillment. This is exactly what I was just saying. Come down into your heart center, you guys. Focus on what fulfills you emotionally. Focus on peace, happiness. Your relationships will become more harmonious this month. And, um... Yeah, come down into the heart. Fall in love with your life. I'm going to be doing some things on Instagram. Um, hopefully, I start feeling better and I want to be on camera <laughs> um, soon. But my plan is to really talk about romanticizing your life and falling in love with your life. Because I think that these are really big things. And this is going to be a really big theme right now um, with this new moon. So it's to come out of the head and into the heart. I, I heard that loud and clear. Did you guys? <laughs> All right. Um, until next time, I'll be back on the full moon. Um, I may do, I, you know, I've got some other things that I'm, you know, I've, I've got my element series that I want to pick up again and my this and that series. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be working on my health so that I feel good enough to be coming um, back here and doing all the videos. Um, so until I do see you again, I'm sending you and your manifestations so much love and so much light and all of the magic. And I want you to know that you are worthy of everything that you ever want and that you have a source that loves you and that is going to make sure that you are on track and on task. And so it will bring you what you want or something better. And with that, angel blessings.